hello everybody good morning good afternoon good evening to you wherever you are all around the countries all around different nations america rwanda south africa nigeria anywhere you are i am so happy to be back again with the survivor's guide to life call me c and i'm happy today to be able to share with you what i'm going to share with you um so let me just tell you a simple, simple story that will lead to the message that I would love to deliver to you today. One day, I was in class and I was studying, actually I was still in high school, and this, you know, it was a very good afternoon and, you know, we had just finished our, our you know, midday lessons and um, I had a plan to talk to someone. But I felt so awkward to actually be able to approach this person after the class. So I was like, should I approach this person or not? I was like, you know, how should I do this? And then I, I, I stopped. I was like, no, I won't talk to this person. Nah, it's not even important. I was not even going to say anything important. So it's done. So I left it. So now we went for lunch. Um, when we went for lunch, I grabbed a juice, a bottle of juice. You know, I drank the bottle, I drank the juice, I drank the juice, and then when it was about to finish, like reaching at the very bottom actually, I felt very satisfied. I felt like I've had enough and this is all I can take in and I think I've totally, absolutely had enough. So I was like, all right, you know what I'm going to do? Let me stop this and uh, leave it. But then when I was about to put the bottle down, I stopped and, and, and just thought, wait, I have had the whole bottle of juice and this very last last sip is hard for me like seriously this is impossible how can this happen I've had the whole bottle I've, I've literally had everything and I'm, I'm you know, feeling good and I feel like now this last sip I can't take it anymore I thought about it somehow somehow it even related to the very first story of before i came for lunch of this person i was going to talk to so they related and i started to think about it so much deep thinking about it i'm like wait this is what we do in life this is what it's all about this is what giving up is all about we come in a life where all we are required is persistence, where all we are required is to keep moving forward, where all we are required is to wake up one other morning. If you think about it, all we stand at, if we stand at a point of, I believe tomorrow is another day. We stand at a point where we say, we believe tomorrow we can make it through. Think about it. If you were to live a life like you're going to die tomorrow, how much savings would you have on your account right now? If you lived on a life standing on a point that you can die tomorrow, think about it. Would you even go to school? If we lived in a life of thinking that tomorrow I might die, would you even plan for a wedding? If we lived in a life where we, in our mindset we have tomorrow, I'm going to die. Would you even think about children? If we lived in a life without hope, what could it be? How could life be without the hope of tomorrow? How could life be without the hope of I can make it through this? Think about the struggles people around you might have gone through. No, actually let me take it to the most simplest way. Think about the struggles your parents went through. If they lived in a life of giving up, would you be alive today? Where would you be? Where would I be? I can't imagine where I would be. Of course, I wouldn't be alive because they would have maybe committed suicide or something. Why? Because they thought there's no hope for tomorrow. We push on, we push on, we run, we run forward, we move forward, we move forward and we push on, we push on, we push on with life so that we can be able to find somewhere where there is hope in life. Hope 
Just hope. Just believing tomorrow there is another day. Just believing we can make it through. Just believing that tomorrow there is another opportunity for me. Just believing that this season of pain and struggle is going to end. I know. Thinking about it, we may be, we may give ourselves so many excuses. No, this is too painful. No, I, this is too bad. No, my life is too hurting. No, I, I, no, no, I'm giving up. Listen, 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 listen. It's about thinking about the next morning. Sometimes the next morning can mean the next month. By the way, sometimes the next morning can mean the next year. Sometimes it can also mean the next two years. The truth is, even the night ends and the morning comes. Relating back to the Jews, we most of the times give up when it's time to actually move. Most of the times we give up when we are about to achieve the goals. Most of the times we give up when we are about to reach where we are actually going. Think about it. Think about a rest. Think about these people who are resting, running and running and running and running. And then they see everybody has, has just passed on them and they're literally the last people on the, on the line and they're still running and running and running. What would you advise these people? Would you advise this wrestler to be like, stop, they have gone, you know, they are beyond and, uh, you know, they are winning, definitely winning. Think about a caress. What would you advise the one who is behind at the beginning of the game? Would you advise them to stay behind? Think about the bike race. Would you advise this bike wrestler to be staying behind because the beginning of the rest they are behind? No, <laughs> you tell them to move forward. You tell them keep moving, you tell them keep moving because you know there is still an opportunity to make it through. There's still an opportunity to be the first even though you're starting last. Let's not give up in times, any times actually. Let giving up not be any option. Let giving up on life opportunities and everything on our mental health, let it not be the last option. For that is not option. Remove giving up from your options. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be. It should not be in the options that you have. There is no option for giving. Take it out. Delete it. In your purpose, in your writings, in everything, in your journals, in your... Everything that you write, everything that you think about, remove giving up from because you give up because you, giving up is one of your vocabularies take it off you can still finish that juice you started it actually you're almost finishing the juice listen you are just required one step to actually achieve what you were thinking about one step from talking to the person you were supposed to talk to one step from entering the office that you're about to enter to get that job, to get that deal, to get that contract signed. Only one step from achieving the dream you've always had since you were two years old. Only a step from achieving more hope to change someone's life. Sometimes maybe you may think, ah, oh, no, no, I think maybe somehow I give you that point. And now, you know, maybe I feel like uh, it should end here. Listen, you living means so much more than you do. Actually more beyond yourself. You inspire so many people to live. You inspire so many people to smile, my friend. You inspire so many people to wake up in the morning. You are not useless. You can achieve a lot more only if you remove the word giving up from your vocabulary. So, let's make a deal. Today, this very moment as you watch this video, think and take a moment to self-reflect. Reflect the moments where you gave up. Reflect the moments where you thought life is over. But if you can remember, the next morning you came, you woke up. 
you thought the opportunities that are done. Remember, the next day you remember, you got one other opportunity. It's not time to give up yet. You have a long journey. You have a long way to go. I don't care how hard it may be, how tough it may be, there's no option of giving up. Do not. The juice is still there and you can finish it. Thank you, thank you so much for following this video and watching this inspirational message with me. Um, call me C and I'm with The Survivor's Guide to Life. The Survivor's Guide to Life, a on an ongoing podcast that has been going on for some time right now, ha having above a hundred and something episodes right now, doing what I am doing right now, inspiring you, inspiring and just you know giving you the message of resilience and hope and just persistence to move on forward with life thank you so much for following such a pleasure such an honor thank you so much the survivor's guide to life for having me be able to speak to the people right now and keep following subscribe to the channel please go on the different streaming platforms itunes pod podcasts and everywhere just to be able to listen to this podcast listen You'll be inspired. You'll be transformed. It is the survivor's guide to life.